Thank you. Frag four poor. Mr. Blakey. I vote for the motion. Mr. Blakey, four poor. Ms. Blaney, North Island, Powell River. I vote for the motion. Mr. Ms. Blaney, North Island, Powell River, four poor. Mr. Bouleris. Je vote pour la motion. Mr. Bouleris, poor four. Mr. Cannings. I vote for the motion. Mr. Cannings, four poor. Ms. Collins. I vote for the motion. Ms. Collins, four poor. Mr. Duval. Canadian lawmakers voted to support a motion formally recognizing China's genocide against Uyghur and the other Turkic Muslims in East Turkestan on Monday. The conservative motion passed overwhelmingly in the House of Commons with 266 votes to zero. However, the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his cabinet abstained from voting. The House also voted to adopt an amendment proposed by the Bloc Quebecois that Canada urged the International Olympic Committee to move the 2022 Winter Olympics from Beijing. If the Chinese Communist Party continues its brutal treatment of Uyghurs, Conservative MPs Michael Chong and Garnet Jenis contributed important work for the non-binding vote. Garnet Jenis said, saying the word genocide cannot stop China's genocide, but it is the first step and the government must take action. Uyghur Canadians also organized demonstration in front of the Canadian Parliament on Monday to support Parliament members' non-binding vote for the Uyghur genocide. Former Parliamentary Secretary and a Human Rights Supporter, Honorable David Kilger, also participated in the demonstration and gave key speech. Former leader of Uyghur community in Canada, Rukia Turdush, appreciated Canada's recognition of genocide on behalf of the Uyghur community in Canada. Of course, as an Uyghur Canadian, I thank you, Canada. I feel that Uyghurs and other Turkic Muslims suffering under China's ongoing genocide were not abandoned. I feel that we are supported. We are not alone. Canada become a leading example and provided courage to other countries that cannot actively confront China's genocide denial uh, by recognizing China's gen genocide. Canada also officially proved to the world that genocide can never be the exclusive internal concern for any country and the concern about the genocide should not be undermined by state relations and the national interests. But still, except for Canada and the U.S., none of the country did have the courage yet to recognize China's genocide. And Canada did. Canada took the first important step. And I'm proud of Canada.